Hello, welcome back to the channel, and we're here with yet another instalment of the new 2024 syllabus. This is Go Your Own Way, Rock School, Grade 2 Drums, and once again, I know the song is coming up, but I've not tried it, so we're going to be working it out together. I'm going to kind of talk you through some things, hopefully, be able to help you on your way. Please remember to subscribe, comment, and like, and all that jazz. And remember, I've got my Kofi, which you can go on, look at the description underneath, and you can go there, send me a video. If you want to show me your version of this song, and I can critique it, and I'll send you a video back and help you out as much as I, best as I can. If that's something you'd like, check out the link in the description. And otherwise, let's get into it. All right. Uh, I love this song. I love this song. This is I love this song. Fleetwood Mac have written some absolute bangers, so I know what this song is. I also know that the drum part, I think, is if I remember it right, let's find it now. It's quite a tricky one. There's quite a lot going on. So whether they've simplified it for this version or not, I don't know. Let's have a look. Uh, go your own way. Ping, ping, ping. Right. And today I'm not going to play any of it because you can listen to it yourself, and I'll do a version of me running through it. But also copyright sometimes doesn't like that, so I'm just going to avoid playing. So we're just going to look at the notes. And play through. So, straight off, um, this one I can hear it in my head. Da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah. So it comes straight in on the fourth bar and straight in with a flam, flam bass with a rest, another flam, and then low and high tom together. So, timing wise, we're gonna go one and two, three, four. Okay? And then. Now again, I've said this in one of the other videos, when you see sections of music where there's loads of low toms and all these toms going on, it looks really scary because having the hi-hat there kind of helps you visualise where things need to be. This is another one of those songs where, uh, bit beats, where it looks really scary, but it's, I don't think it's as bad as you think. No, it's not. It's nearly all low toms. So just imagine your low tom is your hi-hat for this one. So we're starting with the crash on beat five, uh, bar five, and then we've got... High tom, low tom, bass drum, high tom, bass drum, high tom, like that. So as you can see there, the low tom is just playing the whole way through. Now, bar six is a little bit different. Let me just work it out. And they repeat. Yeah. So once you've worked it out, it's not too bad. So let's go through this. We've got low tom and bass drum, low tom, flam. Again with our flam, just one stick higher than the other, whip them down just off each other. Flam on the two, back to the low tom. So it's not all the low tom, you've got to bring the hand across for that flam. But then afterwards it's quite alright. Let's go again. So we've got bass, low, flam, low, bass, high, bass, high. And again we've got accented notes there, so you want to emphasise beats two, the and of three, and the and of four. Okay, so let's do that again. So those notes, the flam and the high toms, we're going to just emphasise those a bit more. Did I play that right? It's a cool beat. I knew this is kind of, it's not exactly what I thought it was going to be, but it's fun. Uh, so then it repeats that through, bar 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. And we get to bar 12 and it carries on for the first half. Semi-quaver snare drums. So they're quite quick, but not too bad. I don't like the sound of that snare drum. I'm going to change the sound of that. That's a bit better. Okay, and then bar 13. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, same thing. And then bar 16 is the same as bar 12. Which I'm hoping, as I scroll down a bit, yep, leads into... Our main beat, which I, th I think is the chorus. You can go your own way. Copyright, don't do it. Four to the floor type drum beat. And then the bar of 18, you've got uh, three bass drums in a row, which is a little tricky. Bar 18. Bar 19. Bar 20. Bar 21. Bar 22. Bar 23. And bar 24, which is going to bring in 
a low time on the snare, yeah, I did get that right, on the and of three, the four and the and. So bar 24 again. And crash into bar 25. And that bar 25 to 28 is exactly the same as the line above it. So we can skip past that. Cool. And then bar 29. We're going back to what looks like the same beat as before. Hmm. Hang on. bass drums on beat three and four. I find that kind of strange. It doesn't feel natural to me. No crash. Uh, but yeah, that's there. Just takes a bit of practice. Another one of those beats you might want to just slow down, build up your tempo. Stick a metronome on, start at slower than what the song is, which is 135. So maybe put the metronome at start like 70 and just play that beat over and over and over again. Just repeat it over and over and over, and then go a bit faster and a bit faster and a bit faster until you've built it up enough so you can know what you're doing. It's the best way to get anything. Uh, bar 32 now, so we're gonna go. Okay, so we're still just playing on that low tom, so it comes out of the beat we were doing before. Let's do it with bar 31, so we're gonna go. all three together on beat three, and then beat four. Easy as pie. Uh, 33 looks the same. Yeah, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, all the same. And then we've got that same drum fill again in bar 40 as it is in 32. So there's nothing here that's too much, it's okay. Just a few things you might have to work through. So bar 40 is the same. Bar 41. Yeah, same, same, same. Now, fill around kit. Fill, fill around kit on bar 45. This looks horribly, horribly confusing the way it's written. And it, I don't like it when they do this, but I know why they do this. It's got these weird tied notes. Oh, I've lost it. Where's it gone? Scroll back down. There we go. Yeah, these weird tied notes. So it starts with a crash on bar 45, and then above it, fill around hits. And you've got there a dotted minim. So if a minim or a half beat, I realize I've got to say it both ways, half beat or a minim is two beats long, so the dot adds 50%, so it becomes three beats, but then it's tied to a quaver or a, an eighth note. So therefore, that note, that First hit lasts three and a half beats. And it's all just a bit like, oh, what the heck? Let's just forget that. We've got a hit on bar on beat one. The next hit comes on the and of four. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, and. Now notice then the next note is also tied, which means you don't play it again. When you ever have a tie, you don't keep playing it. You don't often see this in drum notation. You usually just see like the note and you don't need to have it. I don't like it. And actually when I write music out, I don't bother with all this. I just write them as the note and then put rests in between because I just think that's an easier way to see it. So let's go for that again. Bar 45, we've got a hit on beat one. Two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two. Now I am actually gonna play this because I think we need to hear it. And this is the best way to learn something like this. You can sit and analyze where the notes fall on each bit. And, uh, let's just listen to it. I may get copyright claimed for this, but we're gonna try it anyway. You can go your own way. <laughs> bat, bat. Okay, how do we even begin to tackle this bit? Let's listen again. need to play along with the music for that and you'll get the hang of it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to slow this down and this is how I would approach this. Slow it down, uh, which will sound horrible to start with. Three, four, two, three, four. And first of 
of all, just find those hits. Find where they hit, where you need to make that push, as they describe them as hits. So we've got one, the and a four, the and a four, and two. And then I would take the speed up a bit. So I'm gonna go a little bit faster now and try it again. There we go. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, gradually build up the speed until you can find those hits every time and they're comfortable. You know where those pushes need to be, right? That's the first thing we need to do. Go back a bit again. Try, try and full speed. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Three, four. Okay. And if you listen to the music there, the first thing I note on those last two hits, so on the end of bar 46 and 47, the gap in between the two is that he actually plays it as a gap, and I like that. So I'm going to steal that idea. That's really nice, and he does it. So straight away, I'm going to steal that, because I think that's the, definitely the best way to do it. And there's nothing wrong with doing that, by the way. Steal ideas all day long. Just don't copy them exactly. So let's try and do that again, full speed this time. But I'm going to do a open hi-hat with the bass on 46, and then a crash in the second beat of 47. I'll show you. I'll, I'll try and show you. It's already getting too complicated. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. because it's fun. Right, now we get to have some fun. We're going to try and work in some stuff around that. Let me just listen to what he does. <laughs> okay, so here what I'm doing now is I've worked out where my, my hits are. I've kind of stolen his idea at the end there. This is what I'm going to do. So what we need to now do is fill in the gaps in between. So let's slow it right back down again. And you can kind of, you almost want to sing it along to find out your place. We're gonna go and find a drum fill that will fit in that space. So we've got beat one we've played, then we've got two and a half beats. One, two, and three. So I've got to find something that fits in that place. We're gonna go one, two, and three, and four, and that fits. Now, I didn't overthink it, didn't overdo anything, and you to keep it really simple, if you want, you can just go and try and fit those snare drums in between. I'm just taking it the next step and moving it around the kit. So that first bar, I'm gonna go. One, two, three, and three, and four, and. Okay, let's try it again. Two, three, four, one, two, three, and three, and four, and. And then, into bar 46, I hope this is making sense, I'm kind of rambling a bit. You've now got three and a half beats to fill before we get to that next push on the end, which we're gonna do as a, okay? So what can we do here? Let's do something different. We don't wanna just do the same thing again. We could use triplets, we could use flams. Let's try some flams. So for that bar, I'm gonna go, hmm, let's do the whole thing actually. I did both, triplets and flams. So what I'm gonna do here, if I'm counting this, I'm going one, two E and a three and four and one tita, two tita, three tita, four, or the and of four. I can hear it in my head, it's hard to describe it. One. Yeah, I'm doing something like that. But the main thing you need to spot here is, first, find your hits, second, Find your gaps. What have I got to fill here? There's a two and a half beats and then there's three and a half beats. And just making sure whatever you're doing, you're finding your way to that hit when you need it. So all together, this is what I'm gonna possibly do. Something like that. Should we try it with the music? Oh gosh, this could go horribly wrong. Something like that, I don't know. So the process, I'll say it one more time. Work out the hits. Find where those points are where you're psh, psh, and what, then maybe decide what you're gonna do with those hits. I'm going crash, crash, open high up with the bass drum, crash again. 
and then work out the gaps in between each hit and decide what you're going to do. So me, I had that little drum fill, triplet drum fill in between the next one, and then just a gap for the next one because it's just one beat, and I think that worked really well. I rambled a lot at the end there, I'm really sorry, but it's, it's one of those things that's kind of hard to explain. Without a person here doing it with me, it's a weird one to explain, but um, I hope that helped. Again, comment any questions. If you're not sure on something, you're like, yeah, but what about this? You didn't talk about this. I will have missed stuff. Um, just drop me a comment and I will do my best to help you if I can. Um, Remember to drop me a video on Kofi. If you want me to have a look at it, if you're really not sure on something, you really want me to help you with something, or you've had a go and you're like, is this kind of right? Send it to me on Kofi. I will then send you a video reply saying, yeah, that was really good. Maybe think about doing this or maybe look at some stuff you can work on. That'd be amazing. Um, and yeah, like, subscribe, do all that stuff. And yes, hope that helped. See you soon. Bye.